if you're thinking about leaving Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you requested that I did a growth recipe on my channel after I did my poll. So I am going to show you guys a really quick and easy recipe that you can do for hair growth and for hair moisture. Now I've been doing DIYs taken to account for a long time, especially the first year of me being in natural. I was definitely doing DIYs all the time. So I have a whole bunch of recipes that I can share. It just gets a little jumbled up because I'm just like, okay, what do they want to see? But I thought this would be the perfect one to start. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the recipe. We're gonna start off with coconut oil and you're also gonna need some honey. I'm using pure honey because this is what I have on hand. Now, as you guys see, pure honey that is not being processed or anything is definitely more of a solid consistency rather than the more liquid kind. So if you have the more liquid kind, it would be a lot better for this recipe. But this is all I had on hand, so this is what we're working with, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put coconut oil into my mix. Now, I do not measure out anything i kind of just eyeball it but you will actually just adjust this recipe based on how much hair you have so if you have like a lot of hair you're gonna put more if you have less hair you're gonna put less so i'm just gonna go ahead and combine this all together so that it is nice and combined and i'm going to go ahead and try to break up the honey so that it's a little smoother and I'm going to show you guys how you can do this two ways. The first way is just to get it all mixed up like this. And this is the consistency that it will be. And that's what you'll put onto your hair. And the second way is to literally put this mixture into a bowl of hot water. Which I'm showing you guys here. And you're going to actually take that mixture and make sure that it melts. And it's going to turn more into a liquid. This is probably my least favorite way to do it but I just wanted to show you guys that this is an option if you want to do it that way otherwise you would just stick to this consistency which is more ideal in my opinion so the second part of this DIY is to have some aloe vera I'm using aloe vera straight from the aloe vera plant Aloe vera is absolutely amazing for hair. It literally is a powerhouse when it comes to nourishing your hair. So I definitely like to use it. It's especially great for conditioning your hair and also leaving that like smooth, shiny look that everyone loves to have on their hair. It's also great for promoting hair growth, which is what we're mainly focusing on here, of course. And it also prevents your scalp from being irritated as aloe vera is always good for any type of inflammation or irritation. So I absolutely love it and it's definitely something that I feel that you should be using this DIY. But if you don't have aloe vera, you can just skip this part and just go right to the first part, which was the honey and coconut oil. Now you can cut the aloe vera any way that you want. I find that if I'm not going to blend up my aloe vera, I do like to take it right out of the plant just because I want to have control over not having those huge pieces stuck in my hair. You guys will see later in the video exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start by adding my aloe vera directly to my scalp. Now, I just went ahead and parted my hair down the middle, and I'm just going to take that aloe vera gel and, and rub it right on my scalp. Now, this feels really good on your scalp, especially if your hair hasn't been washed for a while. It just soothes the scalp so much. Now, you guys see those like pieces that are coming off? When I leave the back of the aloe vera on, like it's in the actual plant, it's even worse. So those are annoying to try to get out. So that's why I just like to use it like this or I like to actually blend up the aloe vera. I know it sounds weird, but it just works for me. So yeah, it dries out a lot more when you do it this way rather than having the plant where the juice is just oozing out everywhere and the um, chunks are just coming out everywhere. I don't know. It just dries out a little better and it works a little better. If you guys can see here, I'm just showing you that it's kind of drying out yeah no juice so that's what works for me when i don't feel like blending it up i don't like to use it straight from the plant though onto my hair 
moving on so we're gonna go ahead and put it right on directly on our scalp now this is going to definitely help with hair growth as we all know but this is actually also going to help with keeping the hair nice and shiny for a long amount of time it's not going to keep your hair shiny longer than the honey is but with these two working together you guys will see it will give you the ultimate moisture and shine gonna pour the rest of the aloe vera gel right onto my hair and give me a light scalp massage because why not so directly after I put the aloe vera on my scalp I'll go ahead and follow up with my deep conditioner mask and I actually like to subsection my hair and to spray it before I start to put the mask on just because it helps it get in a lot better you can also do this in the shower if you're just wanting to do it like that it will probably be a lot easier Honey is great for strengthening the hair follicles and also it helps with anything that is irritated. So any type of scalp infections or any type of dandruff or eczema that is on the scalp, it can definitely soothe that. And then these things can kind of hinder your hair from growing. So it's very good to have something that's going to combat any of those and we're also using the coconut oil, which is mixed into this mixture. I know a lot of people don't like coconut oil and it kind of gets a bad rep, but I love coconut oil. It's still one of those things where I use it for a lot of my DIYs. Um, I feel like that coconut oil definitely helps with hair growing. Um, with hair growth in general, it just helps it a lot. It helps it become longer, thicker, and it definitely helps with your hair growing a lot faster. Um, the vitamins and essential fatty acids in coconut oil is what is going to help to nourish the scalp and help for your hair to actually grow a lot better. So I know you guys see these little pieces in my hair, but this is going to come out very easy. So I did the other side off camera and I'm completely done now. And I'm just going to take my hair up and I'm going to go ahead and put a plastic bag over it. But you guys didn't see that because my camera died at the worst moment. You guys wanted to see that shower cap going on my head. I know you did. So I left this in my hair overnight and then in the morning time I washed it out. Look at my hair guys absolutely amazing all i have in here is my nourish by shante growth oil and a leave-in so my hair looks very 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 shiny it feels very very moisturized and i just love it so much you guys can let me know down in the comment section if you're gonna try this exact recipe i hope that you do because it definitely works and it's one that has been with me for a while anyways thanks so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one Bye.